sun shining and there's no clouds in the sky. So while there's no rain, it's time to ride. And my good friend, Sean, is tagging along today. And he finally has the big chief back on the road and the crow's itching to bed in that clutch. So have we decided that broke's a good test run. So we go hell for leather to get out of town and just aim for happiness. Which always lies straight in front, the black top, and every corner between here to there always brings a smile on the dial that nothing else compares to from the adrenaline you get when you wrap on that throttle and the wind blasts through your helmet and the vibrations of the bike just go right up through you and your eyes just stare off into nowhere and you're at peace and one with your machine All good? Oh, I had a bit of a slip. Well, I think it's got to go into the gap, you know what I mean? That's why I thought Bro could be a good one because it's only 40 k's down the road. Oh, yeah, it's good to see you back on the crow, brother. Oh, mate. I'm happy. <laughs> it but, looks good. It's just good to see she's clean, too. Oh, uh, bit of a difference in the colour. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath my past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go, I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And 
And I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown G'day! Welcome to Tadas and Earth. Today, we're gonna do the good old um, get to know Shorno a little bit better, and we'll talk about breakdowns and some of the memorable rides. So Shorno, seven months, I believe. Seven and, uh, seven and a half months, and the Indian was down. Um, so you had clutch work that needed, and straight off the bat, how the that feel. The ride home was uh, memorable, struggling with uh, a new uh, shifter position. Once I got on the freeway, I quickly found a smile and come back real real quick. Uh, what was it? It was about the smile. It was only a 20 minute ride home. Uh, I got used to it. I thought, okay, I'll just adjust the crutch lever where I need it, the, the, the shifter where I need it, all will be well. We did that, the next ride was actually a little bit, just, I don't know, um, got rid of all that little bit. Okay, we're going to mix it Yeah, the anticipation and the hoping and the praying and that the everything's going to be smooth. And the money. Just waiting on parts, there was nothing else but waiting on parts. Yeah. Once your parts come through, it was, yeah, no worries, the next thing kid. We all hate it, eh? The, the breakdown of the time off the road has got to be one of the most painful parts of bike riding. Yeah, yeah. Luckily enough for you, you did have a Suzuki DR to ride. Yeah, you know, I had the lightweight to get around on, which was you know, fun. We, we had a bit of fun on that, yeah. Yeah. Put it down the road once. Yeah. But, but oh. it's no in you. Yeah, true, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just a kiddie bike to the one we've always wanted to work towards. That's yeah. it. So, but on another note, the feeling of today is nothing in comparison to getting it back on the road seven months later. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. Today it was just figured about everything else. And, Go for a and every time I looked in the mirror, the smile was from ear to ear, brother. Oh. With, without a doubt, I was like, yeah, he's back on his steed, it's rocking and rolling. <laughs> he, he's happy days, all glory, there's no problems Seven here today. Days. Yeah, yeah. Going yeah. 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 Right, and so, tell him one your most memorable ride. Most memorable would be the Great Ocean Road with the old man back in, oh, that was 2014. Dad had a V-dub truck. The, the lead slip, a uh, bob slip, sorry, it was, it was um, gold flake. Couldn't miss this thing, 10 inch tires on the back. We rode all the way to South Australia and the uh, British. Very cold with the witch's tit sometimes. Uh, so when it was like that, we stayed in motels, but I talked to Dad about it today and he's got to think about it. Dad's about 75, he's got the Alzheimer's. And he, he said, oh, hang on, oh yeah, I, can, I still remember it. But yeah, that was the best thing, because Dad was the one who started me on bikes. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was about the most memorable we all. And, and, and the worst question for you to answer, the come-offs, have you come on? Oh yeah. Uh, just back in, God, back in 89, I was working with some motorcycle career in the city. I've got Tebow by uh, VL Commodore running red light at over 90 kilometres an hour, no killing. Um, that was the big one. I've been touched by it for two years after that, I thought. But I couldn't help it. And ever since then, I've just had little ones, little, little stupid ones. It's usually my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least they're, they're all out of the system now, they own an Indian, so, you know, it, it, when, you, when you buy an Indian it comes in the package, it just doesn't fall down, it well, just stays upright, forever. Well, no idea is don't fall down, it's going to cost you. Cha-ching. <laughs> the weight on parts is just ridiculous. <laughs>
So there we have it, folks. Another story from another rider about his favourite toys, about some of his memorable rides, and a couple of little accidents here and there. But the big key to take from it all is just keep riding and don't care. Bye now. This is where we end today's ride. And it was great to see Sean and the crow back on the road where she belongs. No matter how long that you have to wait for your much loved machine to be repaired, it's always worth it that first ride. So don't forget, whether it's tar, dust or dirt, just get out and ride. Enjoy that machine you have. You only live once.